the campaign trail, our man Max Olagbagba is with the NDC's flag bearer John Mahama in the Upper East region. He joins us live with more. Maxwell, what can you report from the NDC's camp? Well, um, the NDC presidential candidate um, has been moving to various uh, constituencies. Um, as we speak right now, and he's in Paga, and he's about to uh, greet the chief of Paga. But what you can see behind me is actually the main Navrongo um, to Paga road. Now, this road, there's a traffic situation on this stretch because many NDC supporters um, have gathered here, all of them waiting um, to hear John Mahama speak at the um, Paga Chiefs Palace. A lot of them um, are waiting, some of them on motorbikes, as you can see, it's jubilating here. So they have caused some kind of a traffic situation um, here on the main Navrongo Paga Road. It's jubilation for them. This is not a rally ground. The NDC presidential candidate is just coming here um, to visit the chief of Paga and all the supporters have converged here. I uh, have with me the member of parliament for Baku Central, uh, Mama Yariga. He's here with me. Let's find out from him what the campaign has been like. Uh, Mama Yariga, you're welcome to join Yeah, thank you, thank you. What would you say has been, um, what has it been like for the NDC presidential candidates um, in the Upper East region? You are an MP here in this region. What has it been like? Well, I mean, as you can see, he is being received everywhere enthusiastically. You can see the energy, the young people are yearning for the second coming of John Dramani Mahama as president. I mean, they are listening. He's taking his time to deliver the message, to explain what he will do in his second term, and the focus on continuing on the infrastructure development and providing job opportunities for the young people and skills training and etc and developing the agricultural potential of the north is something that is going down well with the people of the north and everywhere we go the people are yearning for NDC to come back and continue the road projects the rural electrification the water systems the new hospitals that they are looking forward to so those are the issues that are moving the people to miss the NDC because those are clear areas in which the NDC has remained committed to the welfare of the people of this region and the north generally. Mm. And they haven't seen that level of commitment with the MPP being in office for the past four years. And so you can see that the energy that the youth are exuding okay. and the rank and file of the party are exuding okay. clearly will see us through okay. in the 2017, uh, 2020 elections in uh, December 7. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much for talking to us, Mama Yariga. I'm very grateful. I'm very okay. grateful. Great. So you can see the energy all around. Yeah. There's no doubt <laughs> that victory is ours. <laughs> we wait to see. It shall be. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So you just heard from Baku Central MP, uh, Mahama Ayariga, just um, speaking there. Um, but the crowd is over there. Um, we want to show you a, a bit of that, but uh, we we'll also have to give you an idea of what um, the NDC presidential candidate's visit has been like. Um, we have a report on day two, all the constituencies that he visited and what he has been saying. You can watch this. Where we understand there will be a community engagement, um, he will be sharing his vision with the uh, residents there and electorates also um, are there. So that's what he's doing right now, meeting some chiefs um, and imams. <laughs> The NDC anthem welcoming John Mahama to be Dana in the Pusiga constituency. He also visited Garu, Binduri, Zebela, all in the Upper East region. He says a new era of small-scale mining led by the NDC if elected will provide one million jobs. If we handle the issue of Galamse properly, if we handle the issue of Galamse properly, we can create one million jobs for young people in this economy. NDC is going to come out with a new plan for small-scale mining. We are going to enter into a new era of small-scale mining, and we're going to do it properly. And it will give employment to more than one million young people. John Mahama says President Ikufuadu is not tolerant of diverging opinions. One of the things this MPP administration uses is fear. 
If you criticize the administration, they come after you. They will either dismiss you, or they will threaten you, or they will even kill you in some instances. We remember Ahmed Swali was killed. Up to now, his killers have not been found. There was a journalist here in Upper East. He investigated some uh, um, uh, malfeasance, and he had to run away for his life. And so this government is a very vicious government. I've spoken to several journalists. As soon as they do a program criticizing the government, they get threatening phone calls. This was not the case when NDC was in government. And so we need to get this government out. Nana Akufado prides himself as a human rights lawyer, but he's become a democratic dictator. My running mate was going on a radio station to do an interview. You know what they did? They jammed the frequency of the radio station. I was going on a, the same station to do an interview. I was supposed to start at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. they jammed the frequency of the station. I mean, what kind of government is this? He says the MPP's One Village, One Dam project is complete waste of resources, describing it as one village, one pond. Instead, they went and started again, one village, one pond. Those little duck ponds that duck swim in, they call dams. Those dams have been a complete waste of government resources. What our people are looking for is viable dams that can provide water throughout the year so that they can engage in dry season irrigation, farming, and gardening. That is what our people are looking for. Not the duck ponds that have been dug, uh, wasting uh, uh, government money.